Welcome to episode 1 of AI Enablement Program. In the first video of this learning series, let me show you how to build an AI agent within 5 minutes in 5 simple steps. Ever landed on a website looking for a quick answer? Instead, you ended up endlessly scrolling the page? What if you can create an agent that automatically performs that task for you? Give it the URL and the question. It reads the entire page and answers your question in a few moments. Come, let's start coding that. Let's create your first website agent in 5 simple steps. First step is to set up the environment. First, let's install the required packages that's required to create an agent. Now, Langchain communities used to use Langchain's built-in agents, tools, etc. Then DuckDuckGo search is used to perform real-time web searches. So let's install them. Now let's import the necessary modules. OAS and user data is used for loading OpenAI's API key safely into the Collab environment. Then from the web page, we need to extract the text. So for that, requests and beautiful soup would be helpful. So let's import them. Then for creating the agent, we use initialize agent, tool, agent type, and also for the agent to use the OpenAI's LLM, then we have to import chat OpenAI. So let's import them as well. Always our API key should be very safe. It shouldn't be given in public. So let's add the OpenAI's API key here. And then to include that into the Google Collab environment, let's set up our environment variable like this. Now our second step is to extract the text from the URL. For that, let's define a function. Now, we have to pass the URL from which we want to extract the website text. So that will pass it here as URL. Now, we have to request the URL, get the text and then store it as response. This response would contain a lot of tags, HTML tags and the text is not clean, right? So let's clean the text using beautiful soup and remove all the HTML tags that we have and let's get the clean response. Now, this is present as a soup that is beautiful soup object let's extract only the text from that object now it's done we have defined a function to extract the text from the url so step two is completed now it's time to create a powerful tool for our agent this tool will help our agent to take the input from the website that we want and it will take the question also and will help to answer the question from the website now for that let's create a function now our input is going to be a URL and also the question. Now how will the tool understand that this is a URL and this is a question? So let's separate that. Let's split it using any separator, maybe a pipeline or comma. So whatever separator you want, you can use that. Then after separating this, we have to get the content from the URL using the function that we created in the previous step. So let's do that. Now the URL content is ready. Now we have to use an LLM to create a response for the question that we have given. For that, to ask anything to an LLM, we require a prompt, right? So let's create a prompt here. So now this prompt will take the question what we have given and then the content, whatever we have extracted from the website. From that, it will generate a response. So what's going to be our LLM next? Let's create the LLM and use the LLM and use the prompt to generate the correct response for the question that we have given. Now, whatever function we have created here, we are going to create that into a tool and enable our agent to use that tool. So let's create the tool now. For creating a tool, three parameters are very, very important. First is name of the tool because the agent will refer to the tool with this name. Then function, what is the function that the tool is going to perform? That we have created in the previous step, that is a website QA tool. We have defined a function that the agent has to perform. Then the description. So how will an agent identify that I have to use this tool for this function? So that's where description comes into play. So we are telling the agent properly that you have to use this tool to ask questions about any website content. Now we have created the powerful tool that our agent will use. So step three is ready. Now step four, it's time to initialize the agent. The agent that we have initialized or we have created will use the tool that we have created in step number three. Then it has to have an LLM to generate a response, right? So let's give the LLM capability to the agent. Now, how our agent is going to be? 
from a single prompt without any training it has to understand what it has to do it has to select the tool and perform the action right so that zero shot refers to an agent that will create whatever we want without any training extra training then where bore is equal to true this parameter will help us to understand the thinking process of the agent in the output then if something goes wrong this handle parsing errors if we set that as true it will retry the action so let's see what happens now we have created our agent it's time to see our agent in action let's ask interview kick start is there any course to learn ml let's see how our how our agent thinks and gives a response for us so the agent is thinking here whether it should ask the website if they offer any courses on machine learning so it's correctly picking up the tool website q&a tool that we have offered it now it has finished the chain after thinking and it has provided a response so what's the response yes interview kickstart offers a flagship machine learning course designed for engineers with 5 plus years of experience the course includes individualized teaching technical coaching mock interviews live interview practice career skills development and problem solving techniques so now it has given a clear picture and the answer for the question that you wanted that you had in the mind right now we have created a website agent in five simple steps the first step is to set up the environment the second step is to extract the text from the url you have defined a function for that then the step 3 is to create a website qna tool for the agent then fourth step is to initialize the agent and give the tool capability to it and then step 5 is to run the agent and check the magic like we simplified the agent creation let me know in the comments what do you want to build next see you in the next video